Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me. It's Mr. Like Tiger Woods, but I can't play golf, aka Tectone. Man, I hit y'all with the first actual guide on Democles 10 on YouTube, which I'm actually really happy to get out. There's been a couple other videos showcasing team comps, what people use to clear, but there's there's no real like what to do and why you're bringing what you're bringing, all that jazz. So if you'll do me a favor, if you can leave this video a like if you actually enjoyed it or if it helped you, that would mean the absolute world to me. And also over 80% of the people who watch my videos haven't yet subscribed yet. So I did uh, make uh, do, do the liberty of actually making this little magical button you can press right here in case you want to subscribe if you haven't already now. Democles 10, there is no way to actually CC it, right? There's no way to CC it, so there is no way to cheese it. But there is definitely a better way on playing around his mechanics. And also, there's this crazy misconception on you need to bring this team comp for Democles that I'm going to break right here. I'm going to say it right now. You do not need to bring a tag, okay? Some people are saying you need to bring a tag. Hey, sure you can, but you don't have to the most important thing is to bring healers and at least two by two i mean at most two good dpsers to kind of get to the phase and also there's this mechanic that goes on in the boss that people are still misusing i see because they think it's bugged but i assure you it's not bugged so let's talk about all that stuff let's talk about what units to use what mechanics to do and how to take down that pain in the ass democles and yeah. okie doke units now this is a very rough outline but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring one dedicated single Single target damage dealer at least and the other one dude if you haven't been chloe yet yo just build chloe she's amazing you can't cc the boss but it doesn't matter because her skill three hits like a goddamn truck okay also uh yeah once again single target damage dealer you can bring kai you can bring eris you can bring whatever you want but just make sure you can bring hyong yon if you want if you want but definitely uh definitely you know i recommend uh chloe already if you haven't built her for real you use it for proto you build her for trent you build her for uh Iskarioth, hey, use her for uh, Democles too. She hits really hard, especially if you if you skill up the skill three, it's absolutely nuts. So two single target damage dealers, right? Okay, people also say that you should bring a tank for Democles. You don't have to. You really don't have to. I run way, way as my single frontline unit and her gear i actually just just up just upgraded it. i was running her double dps um items frontline but i swapped it to a tank set didn't need to but i decided to uh the corrupt set is great uh so that way if you're frozen if you're frozen you have the corrupt set you'll still get the mana at the end of the turn which is really 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 great to bring and also another big thing i wanted to talk about um bringing the violent set aka the great spirit set is also great in case you have the opportunity to proc out of the freeze uh with the additional turn so corrupt set and great spirit set are absolutely amazing here another unit that i really 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 want to recommend is fabian this dude is insane even when he's frozen, the passive uh, the passive heal still goes out, so he's incredible. In case your frontline dies, or in case one of your units gets RNG into oblivion, he also brings a res, which makes the run incredibly safe. Now, another nice thing to do is bring somebody who can mitigate a lot of damage in the form of shields. So, you can bring a Stella. And Stella does work really well here. I don't know where she's at. She's somewhere in here. You can bring your Stella. I'm sure if you're playing the game, you probably already have a Stella build at six star. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't she? She's extremely good. Uh, there was a little bit of a bug uh, with her passive, but I think it's been fixed since then. So yeah, Stella is really, really, really great. Uh, whenever you're going to uh, transition into a new phase, or whenever you're going to, um, you know, you know AOE damage is coming, to slap a big shield, it'll also increase the damage, which will really, really help you on phase three, where you have to burn the boss the last 20% without the help of the torches. So yeah, Stella helps a lot. If you want to run a Freya too, you can. Freya works really, really, really well here. She's probably one of the best units for this boss fight, but hey, Hey, not everybody has Freya. She has the reduced rate of summoning. So yeah. So yeah, you know, support, uh, double DPS, a uh, healer, generally Fabian. You can also bring Yoon if, if you want. You can bring a Yoon. Yoon works fantastic here. She's an amazing unit and her AI is incredible. I could probably almost auto this. I'm not comfortable with trying that yet, but if I do get a successful auto team, I will make sure to make that in the video. So make sure once again to sub if you haven't already to get that new notification feed. And also my thumbnails are hella sick. So it won't clutter up your stuff box that much with any trash, okay? So those are all the units I'd recommend. Uh, if you want to run a tank, you can. I would probably say Fahrenheit is the best one. Uh, but, you know, Owen works fine. Scotty works fine, you know? Y any tank is fine. But, like, once again, I much prefer running way, way frontline. Okay. So those are all of the units that I would recommend bringing. Let's talk about mechanics and actually understanding what you're actually doing in this boss fight. So this boss... 
has three different phases. The first phase is pretty easy, but the big thing to notice about uh, every phase except for phase three is that there's gonna be two torches. There's gonna be one on the left and there's gonna be one on the right. The left torch is for non-healers. So a healer can hit it and get the torch, but the right torch is for healer only. So only healers will be able to hit the right torch. You wanna make sure that your healers are the only ones hitting the right torch. Uh, the left should be for anything else. I definitely recommend uh, giving that either to your Weiwei Wei if you're running here or one of your single target damage there's like Chloe if you really just wanna start burning the boss. So what the torches do is, the next time that your units would be frozen, well guess what? Now they won't. And that's really, really good because in phase one, the boss is gonna do this crazy animation where he roars in the air and a giant ass frost shield is gonna go in his face and the next unit to hit him will be frozen. So when that happens, you have torches on two units. When he swaps to that phase, uh, and he puts this frost shield up. You're gonna swap to a unit. You're gonna hit him. The frost shield's gonna go away, and you're gonna lose your torch buff. But that's okay because you dodge the freeze. Definitely, always make sure you're using those torches whenever you can. Okay, phase three. That's gonna happen. Okay, so there's two phases. Okay, phase two is gonna happen at 60%, and phase three is gonna happen at 20%. Now, if you're not running the Great Spirit set, you actually can't abuse it. So. Don't think that you can do what you can do for Ime and actually push it further past the actual breakpoint. Don't waste your damage. Don't waste your big abilities. When it gets to 60, it's going to stop. When it gets to 20, it's going to stop. So don't waste your damage. Use baby chip damage just to get it through those uh, phases. So those are all the real effects that I want to touch on right now. So let's actually get into a clear and show y'all just how easy Damocles actually is like for real this boss people say he's the hardest no way you don't have to rely on rng at all for this i mean sure there's a little bit but not nearly as uh, as much as just hoping hoping to god for a stun right i don't know i love this boss let's get into it huh okay we're running way way we're running way way kai fabian stella and chloe right there says we got 77 cp uh 77 kcp Says it requires 100. Some people think the only reason why you can do bosses uh, with a lower CP count is because you CC them. I assure you, that's not the truth. If you're running a good team comp, it don't matter. Once again, we cannot stun Democles whatsoever. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so we're gonna go in there. Go Let's get left and right torch. I'm always gonna start off with a shield. Uh, it's not, you don't have to, but I just like doing it for safe things. Hit him right here. Left torch is gonna go to Kai. Weiwei's gonna go. We're gonna queue up the attack buff. Which will bring us to three, then corrupt and bring us back to four, which is really, really, really nice. Which won't work post patch, but you don't really need it. It's just min maxing type things for uh, pre patch. Okay, we go right here. All right, we're gonna hurt him a little bit. Can't be stunned. Doesn't matter because the skill two just hits for a lot. All right, way we gets frozen, not a big deal. Uh, we hit him. Now we're just gonna start really pushing out the damage. We're gonna swap back to Kai again and just really try to bring it home. Okay, we hit. Okay, this is where he goes for Frost Shield, which you could play around if you wanted to uh, save your swap to push it. You can if you like. You don't have to. Uh, it was going on Stella, so I just didn't care about it because we don't need her whatsoever right now. So go right here, put the Blessing on Kai. Chug him a little bit more. We're getting very, very, very close to Phase 2, which we might actually push right here. And we do, Phase 2. Which really isn't a problem whatsoever. Okay, he goes. AoE freezes. Let's see what RNG gives us. Freezes nothing, Pog. Uh, we will reapply the attack buff. Okay, and then we're going to reapply the torches once again. Right on uh, right on your healer. And then left on your Kai. Or whatever single target damage dealer you're bringing. I'm uh, going to push more damage. Actually, we're going to hard swap to uh, Weiwei. And we're going to get some mitigation up. Some mitigation and some healing. I really don't like taking chances. No, no, no reason to rush, right? There's no reason to rush it until you're in phase three. Phase one, phase two, you can take as much time as you need. Okay, we're gonna start hurting this boy. Hit him with the Fusro Da. <laughs> Dude, I love that ability, man. Dude, Chloe is such a hype unit, man. I don't know. I, I feel like she's so underrated as a single target damage dealer. Because everybody thinks there is a CC bot, man. Dude, she does so much damage. It's outrageous. Like, when you max out that skill three, eight mana, yeah, Stella dies, not a problem once again. That's why we bring Fabian. He makes uh, all the bad times go away. Uh, unfortunately, we use too much mana, so we can't even res him. Ooh, yikes. Okay, whatever. All right, this is going to be a dicey one. This is going to be a dicey one. Okay, push. 20% happens no matter what. Eats both flames. Now, let's see how RNG uh, treats us. Yikes. Okay, we are... We have a blessing on... 
Okay, so we're gonna no, we're gonna heal Chloe. We're gonna heal Chloe. Okay, he gets the heal back, and now we're gonna hit again. We hit him real hard, and then I believe no, Chloe isn't gonna be free. Here. Chloe's not gonna be free. Oh, so we could swap to Kai and go for a kill, which we might do. Nah, nah, there's no rush. There's no rush. Let's actually just heal up again. Let's heal up one more time. Let's heal. Wait, wait. Yeah, we'll make it around. We'll make it around. Okay, he bites Fabian. No sweat, no sweat. All right, we go for a big hit here. Smack. Done. Okay, just as easy as that. <laughs> Yo, with Wei Wei attack buff, makes everything so easy. Speaking of which, if you run yellow gems on your Wei Wei, uh, it makes her attack buff ridiculously hard. But yeah, it might not be that easy for y'all, but for real. Just set up your damage to line up with that pushing phase, and you'll get through it no problem. It's actually an incredibly, incredibly easy boss fight. If you are having any issues with it whatsoever, you know, just hit me up on Discord with a DM of your team comp and the rune sets that you're using, and I'll help you out. If not, uh, if that's too hard for you, just go on to twitch.tv forward slash techdown. Um, I'll be streaming pretty much any day of the week, and then maybe I can help you through any issues that you're having. But I'm assuming with this guide, you should be able to understand everything and how it works, and not just use these units and you win. It's kind of like use this and why and here's how to do it okay so hey that's gonna do it for this one y'all uh this is a i mean i love this fight but like i genuinely find the uh damocles and uh Ime fight super fun when you can't see and akhen uh, 10 akhen 10 as well super fun speaking of which i'm gonna make an akhen 10 guide um within the next two days so once again if you want to see that that's what the button here is for, right? That's what the button here is for. Anywho, hope you enjoyed. I've been Tecto, and y'all been great. Y'all have a damn good one. I'm going to get out of here. Peace. Boys.